The Murfreesboro Stormwater Department is tasked with improving the quality of local streams. While stormwater runoff is a main contributor of stream pollution, springs and groundwater discharges can also carry pollutants into our streams. So staff has been mapping which sinkholes or ground caves feed which springs. These springs ultimately feed our streams and rivers. The city has over the years contracted me as well as the county to try to understand where the water that goes into our sinkholes goes to. We have many sinkholes like the one that we're going to be looking at here that a major storm drainage pipe goes into. So all of the drainage that comes off the streets and then even off of people's yards that might have fertilizers or, or pesticides and all the oils that drip out of cars, that's going to mix with the rainwater and then it's going to go into the sinkholes when that water is diverted into the sinkhole. And therefore, that is going to go through a cave system and eventually it's going to come out at some spring. Now, the task that I've been doing uh, for the city is to put harmless colored dyes approved for use by the state uh, into these sinkholes during storm events or some cases flushing hydrant water into it and then putting detectors out at various springs to try to figure out which spring is being potentially affected adversely from uh, the washing of storm water th uh, through the system. Well, this is an area where we've already done what this groundwater trace or what most people would simply call a dye trace. Uh, but we're actually tracing the groundwater, not the dye. And um, we did that this here and it went to a spring just off of Thompson and next to where the uh, West Fork of the Stones River goes underneath Thompson Lane. And so today we're just going to recreate that same dye trace uh, so that uh, the public can understand what we're, what we're doing. And we're going to use a green dye that's called fluorescine and then just to show you the other common dye that we use it's called sulforotamine which is a reddish color dye. The day the dye tracing took place, it wasn't raining, so a hydrant was opened up to flow water to the storm drain, directly over the sinkhole or cave. Okay, this is going to be fluorescein green. Again, it's non-toxic, and uh, it, this is one of our best tracers to use. Uh, it's easier to detect than the others. This was actually a very small amount of dye, uh, not even a tenth of an ounce. It would be too small amount to even be detected in the mile it has to go to, to get the spring that we already know it goes to. He's gonna do the red now. This red color here is one of the most common colors they use in lipstick. There's also one of these red dyes, uh, there's various kinds approved for use. That's the red that they put on an M&M. So it is, is definitely non-toxic. The cave system uh, offers no purification of, of contaminants, whether it be bacterial or chemical. It, basically a cave is nothing more than a natural sewer pipe. And, and so a lot of people think, oh, well, spring water is safe to drink because, oh, it's underground and it's been purified. Well, not in a limestone cave area. It's, well, whatever goes in these sinkholes is going to be the same kind of concentration when it comes out. Once staff knows which sinkhole feeds which spring, if polluted, it can be traced back to the source and hopefully the problem can be fixed.